Hi, I'm Don from Don Does Stuff. Today we're going to repair a small part of my concrete parging around my foundation right here. It's uh, chipped away. It's, it is the location of a previous repair long before my time and it uh, looks like it either just eventually failed or wasn't done very well <laughs> or, or both. So anyway, we'll get right into that. Okay, what are the materials you need? So, first off, you need a concrete mix. Now, I was lucky enough to find a parging mix, so it's specifically designed for this job, so that makes it easy. You'll also want to pick up some stuff called concrete adhesive. It basically helps the concrete bond to the old material. Okay, so that, that helps. It also just makes the, uh, the whole mixture a little more sticky. Um, a trowel. It's not what it's really called. <laughs> I'll put a name on it. Okay, uh, a little thing like that's handy for mixing things in. You'll also want a trowel to kind of scoop the material up and load your your uh, finishing trowel with. An old paintbrush is handy to keep things wet and to apply that concrete adhesive. Safety goggles. Got some work gloves here for some reason. Knee pads are handy because you're probably working close to the ground hammer, another trowel, screwdriver. So we're going to use the hammer and the screwdriver to remove loose material. And while I'm using the, the stuff, I'm going to be wearing these heavy-duty um, nitrile gloves. All right, and an old mixing pail. Now, you might notice there's already concrete in there. I did this a couple years ago in a different area of my house, and it worked out really well, so that uh, is good. Two things I don't have out here right now. Uh, a wire brush, like a stiff wire brush, is very good to um, to roughen up the area, get all the old material off. I don't actually have one here. I left it at the cottage. Damn it! Um, another thing, and I'll bring that out in a minute, is a uh, an old sponge, basically to smooth the area when you're finally done. All right. And you'll notice I've got this piece of cardboard here. Can't imagine where I found that. Um, and that's good to just protect the area around because you're going to have concrete slopping down. Now, in my particular case, I'm going to have I'm going to move away all these uh, this small rock here. So if I get anything on the dirt, it's not a big problem. But I always like to have a piece of cardboard to to do this kind of mix mixing and slopping stuff around. Okay, I think that's it in terms of equipment. Four steps. Number one, prepare the area. You need to remove all the loose stuff and, and get it all ready to go. Number two, mix the, the stuff up. And it's important to get the right, the, the right uh, texture, so I'll show you that. Number three, apply the, the uh, material to the area that we're gonna be fixing and smooth it all out. And number four, and this is perhaps one of the more important steps, is to keep it wet for three days. I'm not going to show you that, but it is important to keep it wet so that it dries really slowly. Concrete hardens and works best if it dries and cures very slowly. All right, and out of direct heat. By the way, it's best to do this kind of work um, in temperatures between at the very lowest five degrees Celsius and the, at the highest 30 degrees Celsius. All right, outside of those ranges, again, the concrete uh, curing doesn't happen properly and, and you end up with a big mess. All right, let's get into it. Step one is to get any loose material away. And bugs. In this case, it's actually remarkably solid. I don't really even tap at the, uh, the old material. That looks, uh, that looks really good. So I'm just gonna... that's, that's good to go. So, first step is to wet it down. Helps to have a hose handy. Concrete loves water, so you want to make sure that's that's wet and the area is wet when you're actually using it, putting the material on. So, next step 
is to put some of the concrete adhesive directly onto that area. Give it a little shake. I've read the instructions. It's just like, uh, it smells like glue. Doesn't take too much. Put it on. All right, and we can put this correctly into our mix as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put. I don't think I'll need very much. Probably I don't know, but this much actual concrete parging mix. how much I've got in there, probably too much. Mix that up. What you want it to be is smooth. You want to make sure you get all the material mixed up in there. Are you able to see? Yes, you are. Okay. If you don't want it soupy like this, that's too much. I probably added too much water, but we'll see once it's all mixed in. And that's definitely too dry. Let's, uh, let's add this first. Remaining bit of uh, concrete adhesive that I had. Might be just about enough. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm just going to change into my rubber gloves. Okay, so what we're going to do. Is we're going to load this with the parge and then apply it to the thing. And it, honestly, it's a little tricky. So load it on onto here. So I'll just put a little bit on to start and then scrape it on like that. Okay. So it's actually tougher with a small amount than a, than a large amount because it's. Uh, Hard to get it onto the trowel. But no big deal. Just really pack it in there. You have to do more than uh, a thin coat. Like this is really thin. This is less than five millimeters, maybe. Um, you'll want to do more than one coat. In which case, between the coats, you let it dry pretty much, and then between the coats, you you use your brush just to roughen the surface so that it's like something smooth to uh, or something rough to adhere to your second coat. My coat, in my case, this is definitely going to be one coat only. He's he's sad. Okay, that's not too bad. 
you know, here, here I am overthinking it. Okay. So the other thing I'm going to do, so I'm going to let that sit for a bit. And then I've got a mess at the bottom. Need a little water. That's why you need this, just to get a little water. I have no idea why it's foaming. I've got a... I don't know if you can see that. Need that on there. I don't need this. Into the drippy stuff. This is going to be below the level of these, these rocks, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just going to use the sponge to feather that in. See that. already starting to dry just a bit and I'm just going to, with the wet, wet, wet sponge, apply a little bit of texture. As you can see here they've got sort of swirly lines just to make it the same. This is actually pretty coarse, I don't know whether you can see that. Now I've messed it up massively. Don't want the sponge too wet because then it'll make your concrete too wet. I just got it barely damp. Got this little weird piece up here. I'm just trying to make it a little nicer. So I've got a slight gap. Put a little bit. There we go. Okay, so that was step three, applying the parge and make it in all nice and uh, and smooth. So our next stage is, well, I'm going to pick up this mess, and uh, the last thing to do really is to keep it wet for three days. So if it's going to be really, really hot, you're probably going to be out there with a, with a spray nozzle like, like this, just misting it uh, over you know, something, something like that. Um, just to keep this wet, because you want that concrete to dry slowly. Um, if it's a, like right now, it's only about 16 degrees, looks like it's going to rain any second. So um, I'm pretty confident that this is going to look wet for forever, um, at least for, for a few days. So I'm not too worried about getting out here too often. But uh, yeah, I'll come out, I'll leave the hose out here such that I can just uh, spray it down whenever I get a chance. All right, that's, that's all there is to it. Um, I'll uh, take a picture of it once it's all done in a, in a week or two or maybe maybe a, a few weeks so it has a good chance to, to dry out thoroughly and you'll see that this color will be very close to this. It'll probably be a little grayer is that my, my guess because this has a little brown in it strangely but uh, it'll look fine. Better than a hole anyway. Thanks for watching. Catch you again soon. Bye.